Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. What's up guys, I'm Andy from 1A Auto. Today I'm going to show you how to remove and reinstall this cruise control switch on the steering wheel on this 2007 Mini Cooper S. If you need parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. To access the battery, there's a little cover right here. There's a lock right here. This one looks like it's broken. This cover should fold up. It doesn't, so just set that aside. I'm going to take a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet. I'm going to loosen up the negative terminal right here. You always want to loosen up the negative terminal. Take that off, set it aside. So we're going to take the airbag off. We need to find this little hole underneath the steering wheel. The only reason I turned it was so that you could see it on the video. But I can normally have it straight up and down. And we're going to take a blunt object. Um, you can use a three millimeter Allen, seems to work the best. You want to slide it into that hole. And I'm going to just put my hand in front of the airbag so it doesn't go flying. I'm just going to push, there's like a spring in there, and the airbag will just slide out. Now we're going to disconnect the airbag right here at this connector, and then we'll disconnect this connector for the horn. Just take a right angle pick. Just gonna slide in here, this little lock. Pull that lock down. Pull that connector out. And then we'll try to hold this while we disconnect this right here. Just slide up on that. And we're gonna place the airbag in a safe location facing upwards. All right, uh, before we pull the wheel off, we need to disconnect the wire right here, the connector. I'm just gonna use a 90 degree pick. I'm just gonna put a little bit of pressure right here, and then I'm gonna use a straight blade screwdriver to release the lock. So we'll take the pick right here. I'm just gonna, that's just gonna put a little pressure pushing upwards, and then the straight blade screwdriver. Straight blade screwdriver right in between here to release the lock. Just twist it a little bit. And I should be able to grab the connector. And pull it up. Just like that. Now I'm going to remove this steering wheel bolt. I'm going to use a 16 millimeter socket, a little extension, and a ratchet. I'm going to hold the steering wheel while I loosen this up. Now there's not a lot of tension on this, so just check to make sure your steering wheel is loose. We're gonna make sure the steering wheel is straight before we actually take it off. That looks pretty good. Pull that bolt off. There is a mark on the shaft of the steering column and the steering wheel itself, so we don't have to mark it. Just remember that that's there. We can slide the steering wheel right off. So one thing that's important, we don't want this clock spring to spin. We want to make sure we put it on, the steering wheel on, the same way as when it came off. So I'm going to use a little bit of tape and tape this just to the center shaft right here. And I'll just, just as long, it doesn't have to be wicked tight or anything, just as long as it keeps it from spinning, that would be good. Just do that. Should be good. To remove this cruise control switch, we pulled the steering wheel off. You don't necessarily have to pull the steering wheel off, but it makes it a lot easier. So on the back side here, there is a screw. It's a T20. We're gonna use the T20 socket extension and a ratchet. Take this screw out.
flip it over. I'm gonna use a flat blade tool. Just gonna kind of underneath here, pry up on it. Actually, it's on this side. So you're gonna lift and pry gently. Grab it from the outside. And try to peel it up a little bit. Just like that. There's these two tabs that are locked in. We're going to disconnect the electrical connectors right here. Just grab the connectors, pull the switch, pull it up. We're going to reinstall the switch. We'll take these connectors. They're going to line up. There's a little slot there where this tab goes on this black one. That one's going to go in first. Lock that one in, and then this red one, slide that one in, just like that. Make sure they're both locked in. Then we'll line these two tabs up where the slots are, and press down, like that. Flip the steering wheel over. Take this Torx screw, the T20 Torx socket, and then we will Use the extension. Get that started, and I'll use a ratchet. I'm just gonna snug it up. Not too tight, because it is in plastic. That's good. And we can reinstall the steering wheel. Now we'll take the steering wheel. Um, we can remove this tape, just be careful. Make sure the clock spring doesn't spin. You don't wanna ruin it. Line this up. Line that mark up with the mark on the shaft. May have to move this a little bit. There we go. It's lined up. Now we can connect this electrical connector right here. Just like that. Take the bolt. 16 millimeter socket and extension. And we're going to take a torque wrench and we're going to torque this to 46 foot pounds. You're going to make sure you hold the steering wheel while you do this. Just like that. And we're going to take the airbag. We'll connect these connectors right here. And then this connector is going to go here. Push that in like that. And make sure the wires are out of the way. Line the airbag up and just push it down. Now we're going to reconnect the battery. Take the negative battery cable. Slide it over on the battery. Take the 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet. Just snug this up. And then just shake the terminal, make sure it's tight. And if your door is still attached, you just slide it down. And lock it in place. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.